What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here, and I want to welcome you guys to a brand new Let's Play. Today, we are starting The Sinking City. Now, this game caught my eye because of its genre. It is like a mystery, investigative style game. But not only that, it is developed by and published by the same uh, people who have done the Sherlock Holmes game. So the ones we've done in the past for the channel, they've done this one as well, with their most recent game being The Devil's Daughter. And so this is completely new for them. They've pretty much done Sherlock Holmes games their entire development career. And like obviously we have Frogwares developing it, and then we've got uh, Big Ben Interactive publishing it. So I've worked with both like these companies before, and they're both great to deal with. So And I know they can make a good game, but I've noticed their games really kind of fly under the radar. They're not as mainstream. So I have, I have high hopes for this one. I think I'm really going to enjoy it. And I think you guys are as well. I don't know how they're going to lay it out if it's one giant case or if there's multiple cases. I don't really know how they're doing it yet, but we're going to find that out shortly. But either way, guys, hope you're ready to rock and roll with this Let's Play. If you are, be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a lot. Without any further ado, guys, let's jump in to the Sinking City. All right, we're jumping in. All right, first things first. Hope I never have to use it, but something tells me I will. Everything we possibly need. Dear Mr. Charles Reed, as you requested, I've researched the outbursts of hysteria and visions in the city of Oakmont, Mass. Turns out that your assumptions were correct. Such cases are indeed more frequent here. Men and women from across the country are drawn to Oakmont, haunted by visions similar to yours, a city drowning, the presence of something great yet unknown. As luck has it, I believe we have stumbled upon the source of your ailment and the person who might help you with it. Prepare yourself, then come to Oakmont as soon as you can. I'll meet you here to help you on your way. Cordially, Johan Vanderberg. All right, new case, the Frosty Welcome. So... That, okay, I'm still trying to get escape goes into the case book. So the first, first case, so we can do side cases or whatever. So Frosty Welcome is our first mission. Excellent. So again, we'll find out as we go along. The folding camera. Is that, what is that of? Like, I don't know what that is. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Oh, what's that? Oh, okay, you can search it. Ah. Ah, okay, that's what that is. You take a picture of it. Okay, that's what I thought. All evidence collected. All right, let's move on. Hey. Now get out. Jesus. Selfie. <laughs> Let's, what if we what if we persist? Now get out. Ah, uh, he's only got one. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Uh, 
Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. Reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Reed. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. Tell me about this flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks, and the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? That's an eye-catching suit. Thank you, Mr. E. A mere flood is no excuse for one to abandon one's style. I take it you're a big fan of yellow. Well, I have a particular weakness for it. Call it a personal quirk. Even though it's like a hideous looking suit color. I mean, I don't mind the yellow shirt, but it's like a... Gr I, there are people who really like that color, though, the, of his coat. Not a fan, personally. You said you know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to... <laughs> Stand out from the crowd. Can you tell me a little about Mr. Throgmorton? A remarkable creature. Scion of a robust bloodline. A philanthropist, a scholar, and a patron of the famous Oakmont University. A man of great ambitions and even greater ego. Do not make him wait. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair not. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia. Gathering seeds of thought like moths drawn to a clay. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot, or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Uh, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular. Its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. That's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. That's creepy. All right, well, anyway, we're done talking to him. We talked to him for a while. Welcome to Oakmont. Let's open up the map and get an idea of what we're dealing with here. So this is 
the area. It's actually fairly large. I was not expecting that. Okay. Frosty, welcome. Anything else? Find Robert Throgmorton. Uh, side, we don't have any side cases just yet. Hotel room key. A key to a room at the Devil Reef Hotel. Anyway, let's just follow. I actually don't know where I'm going. And check into our hotel. You look like... You look like someone of great importance. Is that... Is that... Thorgan Blorgan? I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until... Dude, he looks like a gorilla. Sound, and that is fine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am. But not interested. Dude, he looks like a monkey. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator. Just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> Yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you. My son Albert is missing and no one in this Innsmouth or Ridden City will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. Please forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. It looks like one of your ancestors had sex with a gorilla. Like, is that what happened? Is this Planet of the Apes? I don't know what the hell I'm playing. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now... Those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. The port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells. They are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say, I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera, you have a point, newcomer. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Dane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. 
I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. This guy's kind of a scrotum, isn't he? Sorry, did you just say Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating plan. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. Where's the house where this all happened? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. We're standing right in front of it. You know what? Fuck your kid. I don't want to find him anymore. Lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throckmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Alright, well I had to get all the information. Alright, T. Evidence contains crucial information about what to do and where to go next. To get evidence, interact with objects and people. Combine clues in your mind palace and take photos. A white frame in the camera viewfinder indicates if you are aiming correctly. Um, read evidence closely to identify important locations, then pin it to the map to plan your route. Pin evidence on the HUD to keep track of your current goal. The goal, excuse me. Press the toggle on and off. Hold the switch pinned evidence with the middle scroll. Okay. You can also place evidence on the map and HUD. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, I gave you clear instructions, did I not? I've said everything I know. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer, and keep your hands where I can see. You know what? Letter from Wait, what is that? Is it like is this just where I marked everything? I wonder if it's just it's weird. Anyway, this is it here, it looks like. Let's go on inside, shall we? Can we like hold on, let's road let's take this out. Selfie! Just kidding. Get off my bounce. Oh, you just walk in. Okay. Let's have a look. The fish seems important. I feel like dude's got an instinct, you know, like. Hi. Huh. Let's see what you find, newcomer. Why does everyone look like they've had absolutely no sleep? It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. I don't know what I just took a picture of, but. There was but... a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Hello? Hey. Can you hear me? Ah. Uh, oh my head. What? Who are you? Are you police? I've already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, private eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh, okay. What do you want? I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and... Okay. My head began to burst, and he woke up, and after that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me, ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will, Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul. Barry and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so I started fishing. It was out of starve. Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Kay be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. 
Lucky Rascal missed everything. And I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. Do you know how Paul died? I... don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already... gone. Kay, have mercy on his soul. Who is this Kay you keep mentioning? Outsider, show some respect. Kay is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I didn't know. Hey, yeah, can't be mad at him. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or Kay? Did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. Yeah, everyone just looks exhausted. It's obvious there's something going down. Choo choo. <clears throat> uh. What's that? Oh, you gotta hold it. Choo choo. Ahem. <clears throat> choo choo. Ahem. So I just don't know what. If there's anything... Well, actually, to be fair, it will tell you, right? It's like last time it told me. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. I can barely recognize the face of the what poor fella. What is that? Fella. I'm seeing visions. He was beaten to a pulp. Is that my mind's eye? Like, what is that? I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Oh, mind's eye. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. I'm confused at this mind's eye. Mind's eye allows you to see the unseen. Okay. Oh, there's something down there. He seems to be like washing. Wait, we, so we can get down there from up here. Five cards short of a full house. seen knives like this before masterful work it's like made of scales on the handle seems like prohibition hasn't affected oakmont too much seems like prohibition hasn't affected oakmont too much so that's what an in's mouther looks like horrible What the hell is that? Retrocognition allows you to understand events that happen. Oh, okay. Inspect enough evidence in the scene and a vision will emerge. Step into it and find all the critical scenes. Mark the scenes in chronological order to gain new evidence. That reminds me of something. Well, sorry, what did I do? Okay, we're in the scene. Take this, ape face. <laughs> What's happening? Okay. Oh, there's another one over here. Yeah, run! Okay, let's see what we have here. So I'm guessing it goes... One. Two. Take this, three. Ape face. Yeah, run! When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. All right, key evidence collected.
I did see the thing on the handle, guys. What the hell is that? Can I get that? Wait, did I? I didn't think I went through here. The book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. Huh. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. There you go. All evidence collected. Alright, now we gotta go into our mind palace. So first thing I want to do though is go back up a level. All right, so I'm gonna—I don't know how to mine palace it up. So let's go here. All right, so yeah, see this looks familiar. Case book. See, it's very similar to you know what this is like. This is very similar to uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Sherlock Holmes. All right. All right, Albert, okay. Deductions? Combine clues to make deductions. Oh, I right, 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 okay, so. All right, Albert attacks the fisherman. Lewis shot without warning. Hold on. Albert Throgmorton attacked the fisherman at their house as soon as he regained consciousness. Fisherman suffered a sudden psychotic after Albert, okay. Nope. Albert spread hysteria around him. Okay. No, I'm not done yet. Uh, Albert attacks the fisherman. No, is it the feud? No. There you go. Albert Throgmorton was dangerous and posed the threat to Lewis Flynn and his fellow fishermen. Okay. Lewis shot without warning and fled wound. Oh, that's not the same? There you go. As an inn's mouth, where Lewis and his people suffered at the hands of the Throgmorns. That could be the reason to hate them. Albert fled, one fisherman missing. Albert and the fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after the fight in the house. I can track them using my supernatural sense. All right. Good. Casebook. I can track down Albert. Oh, that's what I was selecting. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what you find. <laughs> Follow the omens. Mind's eye can reveal omens to guide your way. Still hear those voices. All right, let's bounce. I gave you clear instructions, did I not? All right, so I gotta follow that. So the fisherman pursued Albert, even let off a few shots. Is that a shark? Wow. I don't like how zoomed it goes. Like, what is this stuff? So which way did he run? This way, let's go. It's like handprints all over the place. Oh, what's this? Even though Albert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Albert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. So is he gonna look like a monkey as well? He must. Or a chimp or whatever. Not chimp. You know what I mean? Gorilla of some sort. An ape. Hello? What do we have here? Huh. There's something in the pocket. 
Lewis, please, just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. I don't yet have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping about the port. But don't worry, I've start, struck a nice deal with the proper people and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest, Peter. The blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. So anything marked that way is going to have stuff inside it? That Maybe that's what that symbol means. Okay, obviously I can go down. I can also go up. Maybe not. Maybe I can't go up. Nope, that's locked off. So the blue doors you can't access. Those ones like that. Okay. Let's go down the stairs. Follow the trail. Okay, obviously I see there's a couple of doors. There's a lock there. Maybe I have to find the key or the code on my own. Alright, so keep going up. It's obvious they want me to go padlock. Just gotta figure out. Okay, padlocks. Padlocks are weak and can be broken by a shot or a melee. Are you melee again? No. There you go. Oh man. Okay, how did I do that? E, okay. He's melee. One fatal round through the forehead. That's him, isn't it? It looks no like accident. it, son. This was deliberate. Key evidence. What the hell is this thing? What was that? That thing is creepy as shit. One fatal round through the forehead. So now we know where the That's sun no is, accident. though, obviously. This was deliberate. I don't know what those things are, but they're creepy. Alright, we're gonna have to... I must have... I, mean, I didn't get all the evidence, I don't think. I thought, they, I thought they'd want more photos. He's been hanged. Okay, well, anyway, let's go deduce some stuff. Albert was murdered. Uh, Albert fled from the fisherman's house after he was wounded. No, okay. Pursued out. No. Oh, we don't have the key evidence for that. Okay, cancel. Lewis pursued. There you go. Lewis may have wanted Albert dead. Lewis may have wanted to kill Albert outright because he was a Throgmorton rather than just drive him off. Okay. Bar owner is indebted to Lewis. Lewis left the crime scene. Lewis may be at the bar. Lewis, the inn's mouth that killed Albert Throgmorton, may be hiding at the bar in Oakman Port. But there's still one more thing. Oh, sorry. Casebook. Okay, so if we go to the main, Albert was murdered. We don't have that answer yet, I don't think. Forgive me, I just, I'm just paranoid. It hasn't said all clues found. Maybe not. I gotta go to the bar anyway. Alright, let's go to the map. Alright, Albert was murdered. Torn piece of jacket. Uh, Bloodstained note. I can track down Albert. We know where that is. Obviously, house brawl. Where's the bar at? What's the key? Oh, that's the hotel room.
What is that? Hold on. Oh. See, that's... I don't like how they do that. It's not very handy. It doesn't show you where anything is. That's up to you. So I gotta find the bar then. But do we know where that is? Hi. All right, well, um... Let's go back. That's quite... Get the attack. Which one's the bar, though? Like, see, it doesn't... I wish they had some sort of a... <clears throat> system in place. this something with this helmet gives me chills what's wrong with it something with this helmet we're gonna put it down gives me chills what's wrong with it Albert Thorgmor Throgmorton's will I hope someone finds this my name is Albert Throgmorton and this is my will I want to warn you, don't go to the depths below Oakmont, there's, uh, there's blah blah. We should have never done that, everything should have remained in that cave. Professor, I fear what will become of me. It's singing in my brain, dancing on my eyelids every time I close my eyes. The cycle goes on and on and on and on and on and on. And the end it comes, I must warn everyone, I must tell my father, he's here. It like zooms in so much. It's really kind of hard to read anything. Can't catch a mackerel since those inns mouthers took over the fishing business. You like it here, newcomer? Well, get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays. Um, I'm gonna. I thought he was. Just keep following it. There it is. It's like right there. I must have walked by it like a thousand times. Who are you? Hey, got a spare bullet, fella? I ain't eaten in days. A spare bullet? Oh, yeah. Hey, got a spare bullet, fella? Stay alert. Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. No, oh, I'll miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna go in your back door. Or your back room here and loot through your valuables and you won't be needing them welcome to under the keel what do you want i'm looking for a man by the name of lewis flynn any chance he's here yeah even if i knew i don't rat to newcomers As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is, I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throgmorton, son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Throck. That would explain the blood. Fine. If it gets me out of this mess, you can have him. So? He's upstairs. Here's the key. You got to promise to deal with them once and for all. But save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. I've seen some unsettling creatures around, like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? <laughs> so you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are. 
but consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea. Others that they are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. Keep your gun handy. And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember, better to be a coward and live than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right, we got what we needed out of him. Come. Come closer, troubled soul. Let me tell you what your future holds. Do I have to pay for it? kind of uh, fortune teller? Yes, my dear. Yes. Oh, it's so clear. Your path holds many surprises, newcomer. Really? Like what? Not so fast, newcomer. I see many things. For a small fee, I'll tell you some of them. All right, how much? A dollar? <laughs> Your money has no value here, newcomer. After the flood, Oakmonter's deal in the practical. Booze, smokes, and bullets. And I'll make it easier for you. I don't smoke. Let's hear what my future holds. It's probably a dumb idea. Let me focus. The sea will be generous in the coming days. Many gifts delivered. And many will regret partaking. I don't think I follow. I see old and new. A hard heart against an iron will. Whoever wins, you win too. But you'll only see that from inside a metal cage. And, and tall pillars circled by the dead. A race from one to the next as time itself laughs. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. You are welcome. I can't wait to see what you do. I literally have no idea what the hell she said. I don't understand. I mean, the cage. It could be. She could honestly be right. But I figured if we take all the information we can, I think that'll be better for us. What the? Get the... Oh, oh that looks tasty, bro. Hey, who are you? God, you're, you're disgusting! Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Ugh. Oh. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. Start at the beginning. What happened? We... We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Mary had gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall, after... Is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood? I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out I was right. What kind of. Why do you. Your face, it's, uh. Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? Wanna spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I I didn't know how to ask. I've just 
never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the sea. You're gonna see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throg Mortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? <laughs> so you're a newcomer, huh? explains a lot. Yeah, a newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The head honchos of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right, those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reed, don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest, have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. I won't tell him. Everyone seems to agree there's been an outbreak of madness around these parts. I'm inclined to believe you fell victim to it, too. Plus, it seems heartless to tear apart a family after what you've been through already. Oh, thank you, Mr. Reed. Thank you. That said, the port's still closed. What will you do? Hide here, I guess. Don't have a choice. The streets are flooded with police. I'll make something up to tell Throgmorton. Leave as soon as you can. Thank you again, sir. I won't forget this. Okay, so... Please, I told you the truth, I swear. I want to find the quick key. Okay, C is case book. What about P? Is that it? Let's see. Let's see if P does it. Z? X. Uh, A. Oh, no. F. G. H. J. K. L. Oh, I. All right. Uh, tab? No. Q. That's the mind's eye. I honestly don't think it has one, to be honest. Anyway. The Mind Palace. Lewis was affected by hysteria. Lewis is mentally affected and couldn't con entirely control his actions. Lewis deliberately murdered Albert, but he was on his state. Psychic influence or not, Lewis was out to murder Albert Throgmorton. He had a motive, too. The mutual hatred between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. I must tell Robert Throgmorton the truth and bring the murderer to justice. All clues for current case are found, really. So is that all we need? We found all the clues, so all we got to do now is return back and be like, bro, this is what happened. Mr. Throgmorton, uh, I've encountered something. Uh, what? I don't have all day. Some uh, unusual creatures. And they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them. 
but we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah, I learned that firsthand. Try to avoid them when possible. And when you can't, keep your weapons handy. Roger that. Mr. Throg Morton, I'm afraid I have bad news. No. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. I've tracked down your son's murderer. Where? Who is he? Oh man, that's filthy. I could either lie to him, but he wasn't in a state. He was in a state. I wonder if I should have. I wonder if I. I don't know. I'm at, I'm at a crossroads. Do I tell him? He still did it, but something else is going on. I don't think he was. I'm gonna say he's. I'm gonna say he's dead. I tracked the murderer down, but he was attacked by those things prowling the back alleys. And they tore him apart. It was that Innsmouth or fisherman, Lewis. He was covered in your son's blood. That may have attracted the beasts. Are you certain the body is his? Beyond any doubt. All that's left of him is a heap of flesh and this scrap of cloth. It's from his jacket. He must ask his friends. Alas, this was my revenge to exact, not some wild beasts. Something must be done about those pests. Still, justice has been served. This isn't closure, but at least I know now the story. Thank you. Mr. Throg Morton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, you've earned it. Okay, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? I... I think I'm going mad, Mr. Throckmorton. I see things, visions, and I needed to stop. I was drawn here, or guided, or... But I believe the source of this madness is here, in Oakmont. They're not wrong, Mr. Reed. An inexplicable hysteria spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. A geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness are the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. Do these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the flood, many Oakmonters have had similar nightmares. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture. A sleeping giant, drowned streets, and a voice calming from the depths. Her words exactly. She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. You mentioned the Flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened defied scientific explanation. Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. 
I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and... Albert, when you've finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Ah, uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. Gotcha. Well, there you go. We just got ourselves our first skill point. Let's spend it wisely. We're almost at the next level up anyway. So combat efficiency, vigor, and mine. Carry 25 pieces of any crafting material. So any, um, which so we can get any of the first ones in the corner. Earn more experience and stay sane for slightly longer. I think I'm going to do that. I think that seems like a good thing to get. More experience. You want to get that as early as possible. All right. Well, all right. So, Frosty, welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, is the first case, and it's in the books. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Facebook.com slash Danku8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, Danku8000. Instagram, Danku8000. And Snapchat, Danku8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or a hoodie, link in the description. If you want to save 10% off your next DX racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code DANKU8000 at checkout. All right, guys. Thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent. And hit you 8,000. Wait a minute. Hold that style. It's style. Dan. Goddamn Billy Jack. We still riding. Tires flat. I hear them sirens. Sea shots flying. So we driving. Fire back at they ain't vibing, lie with that Got me dressed up in all black What up? Hood up and I see them haters Try to run with us, they gon' need inhalers Gotta breathe them hard just like the beta players Grab your respirators, night invaders get light sabered Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to bed intruder Got that Glock and got them woofers Just press play, I'll keep it moving Who is Knox? Still you damn fools Keep it fresh like canned food There ain't nothing we can't do So tune into that damn Q Yeah Never, ever, again.